Welcome to the Game Corner, another video game podcast. Uh, I'll be your host today. My name is Harrison, also known as Ro Ixon, and I'm joined today by my friend... Rowan, also known as Mocha. And unfortunately, we're missing our third friend today. Uh, being a parent is uh, a lot harder than being a man-child who plays a lot of Pokemon, so... <laughs> that is a fair point. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess, I guess we should start off by saying apologies. We missed a week. And then we're, we're late this week, uh, but that's just life. Uh, I think after, after this, this short you know, little period we had where we might be rethinking what our schedule is going to be. Um, but for the time being, don't expect too much of a change. Uh, but we're, yeah. we're shoot, still a new thing. every week. Yeah. We're still, we're still trying to get our footing, even though we are, what, eight, eight episodes in? Eh, whatever. Um, so... Mocha, yeah. How have you been? What's up? What's <laughs> um, up, World Cup player? You? How have you been? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's talk about it. So, um, I, I don't, I don't know. Had I done my third match, uh, the last time we did an episode, I think so. It was a, it was a couple weeks back. Um, yeah. I, anyway, I think so you qualified. Yeah. So Team India came first in the qualifiers. That was awesome. Um, we got put in a group that was, uh, you know, every group is scary in the World Cup in the second stage, but um. Our group had a few less, like, none of the teams that were just, like, eight regional cha champions in each round, which, which is kind of kind of nice. We got matched up with Tyler in the first round. That was my, uh, that was my round to take off. Uh, everybody kind of, we have more than eight players, so we all have to take turns every now and then. So uh, sure. I was off, and we tied 4-4, uh, four, four, and I think we won with the game differential, but it's still technically a tie. So, um, yeah, still in it. Still, uh, it's, like, it's, it's very tight. It's a lot harder now, but uh, have a lot of fun with it. Uh, trying to think what else. Um, that Little Root draft is coming up. Pretty excited about that. Um, yep. And then I've been playing in that Malamar League as well. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of Ooh. Pokemon. Maybe, maybe, maybe too much for for a grown adult. <laughs> what what fun things have your Matt has your Malabar Ma Malabar Mal Malamar? Malamar. It's a it's a play on <sighs> Squid Games. Yes. Yeah. What fun things um, have you had had to do this time? It's been like half fun and half boring, and I'm finding out that I'm good at boring, which is unfortunate. I, uh, I'm two and two. I lost the first round where it was like sabotage the other person by giving them a team. And it turns right. out I am worse at sabotaging than other people are. Um, I lost the second round that was, um, what was it? It was choose a famous team from ultra series, but play it in a Dynamax format. And apparently I'm not, <laughs> I didn't choose right on that either. Interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. So third round I won and I'm actually struggling to remember what the theme was in the third round now yeah hold up i have That's i have fun because here. it was boring you won yeah yeah we, yeah. we yeah we three was bipedal uh you had to choose you could only choose mon with mons that are standing on two legs um as it turns out just one and it, and it couldn't be restricted so yeah i just cinder ace and reggie drago bird my way to to winning that and then week four was just series 10 for some reason i don't i don't i don't know why but okay. yeah i i know how to play series 10 so i won that so we're two and two we're clawing our way back in i was pretty I was pretty sad about it. I was like, how am I winning at the World Cup and losing at this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, you're too good at the game, that's why. Uh, I tried I, I really tried to meme it. I think I did like substitute uh they gave me Reggie Gigas with no uh wheezing. So I tried to like set up sub and like live out the slow start turns. Oh, sure. That five worked. is still a lot, though. I should I should have taken facade. I uh, I it worked, but I got burned. If I'd taken facade, I would have been able to just burr through it. But gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cute though. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time with it all. How about you? You went to some kind of comic con. I don't know which one is going on. Oh, right I now. went to I went to San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, that's the big one, right? Yeah. I went. Yes. Right. <laughs> that was super fun. Um, nothing nothing Pokemon related. Uh, there was the like Nintendo had their. Switch tour thing going on. I don't know. They're, they're, they're doing something with Switch, uh, but it was all boring stuff that I've either played or beaten already. Um, I looked at it before, and I was, it was also impossible to get, like, I had, like, reserve a spot the day before. It's Couldn't gotta be a massive it. line, right? Like, yeah, and then I, I didn't want to go. It was, like, off-site, so it was a little far, far away from the convention hall, and I was like, I don't want to go wait in line and not get in. So yeah. I spent time doing other things. Like I saw the Marvel panel was great. Uh, they announced like Wakanda Forever. They did not announce, but they showed stuff for it. That like a whole production for it is really cool. Um, 
the, you saw Guardian stuff, saw a phase five and six. Is that what we're on? Yeah. So like something like that. Yeah. No, I I saw all that like secondhand. Well, yeah. It's so like all yeah, all the it, stuff that came cool. from that. Yeah. So I I got to see it firsthand. Super cool. Um, that is awesome. I got I got to go to that at some point. I uh, it's a it's a trip, but it seems like it's really worth it. Well, um, I'll keep I'll keep you in touch for that or keep whatever. I can't speak today, and we're doing a podcast. This is gonna be great. Oh yeah, I will keep you informed when registration opens up again because you Please need do. help. It's not something almost, that you can easily do together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we have we have our own um little buying group. It's like a thing you have to do to get into Comic Con. Oh, it's just like everybody tries to buy at the same time, and then like whoever gets into the queue just buys for everybody type of thing. Like you can only buy for you for three people total. So you just have a group of people to try and get in, and and as as people get in, you try and you know fill Five all the three, spots. Yeah. Yep, it's wild, uh, but it's super fun. Lots of stuff to do. Um, I I don't want to. I can, I can, but I don't want to spend the whole podcast talking about that because there's some right. really cool Pokemon stuff that yes, came out is. this week. So where do we want to start? I, I think the the series the, the new series is a little less meaty than the trailer. So, so let's start, start there. there. Yes, absolutely. Right. So yeah. series thirteen was announced, which is only like a month and a half long. I think it's like September it's, or October or something. It's putting a cap on Sword and Shield. This is this is the last huzzah mm. before we go into Scarlet and Violet. And but it it is, it's beautiful. What a last huzzah! I am I am excited. It, it's so, gonna be so cool. So for for if you haven't seen it yet, series thirteen is just no rules, just just play with bring whatever, all mythicals yeah. allowed. If if it's if it's a Pokemon that exists, you can bring it. Yeah, you still have species claws, you still have items claws, and thank yeah, okay, God fair, fair you still have a uh, <laughs> battle ready mark. This was there was a little bit of, of uh, confusion that we may not need a battle ready mark. Which would mean that you could have legacy moves in. Oh, um, yeah. Which would be awful for accessibility. I mean, mythicals are already pretty bad for accessibility, and that's the reason why they're not allowed. But you can at least generally get them, and you can. Sorry, I was going to say it out loud here. You can gen them. But you cannot gen things that cannot be legally obtained in Swish. The bots actually can't do Correct. it without, at least not without like an actual PK8 file, which is uh, which kind of adds to the complexity of of getting it. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I mean they they are they are requiring it, so no like follow me Jirachi, right or anything or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's it's or, or like Tailwind Lunala and something, something so crazy. Still, but uh, it still has yeah. to get that that check in game to make sure it is yeah. of legal stats and whatnot. Yeah, the legal stats for sure, but even le- but even legal moves, moves yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 everything yeah. legal. Build. But I'm I'm so hyped. There's so many things to talk about. I um. Man, Cap had an amazing idea for something. Um, I guess we'll have moved on by the time to- by, by next episode. So I just want to like full shout out. This is either his idea or at least the one, or at least he was the one who told me about it. Mm-hmm. Did you know that Zera Aura's uh, plasma fist move makes uh, the Pokemon that it hits? Is it plasma fist? There's a move it can do to make the Pokemon it hits use electric type attacks, and it also has Volt Absorb. No. I did not so know a, that's that. Ki- a, that's kind of cool because you force your opponent to use a mo- to be a type that you are immune to. Uh-huh. But B, you can scarf the Zara Aura, use that into your own Regieleki, who then uses Explosion that is buffed by Transistor and destroys everything around you and heals you up. <laughs> I am... That is some evil genius nonsense right there. That, that uh, is like, some wild. If Cap tech. actually thought of that, then like uh, I'm not wearing a hat, but like hats off. That's 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 beautiful. Yeah, that is abs- that's that's absurd in the in the, in the greatest way. In the most beautiful way, yeah. Huh. 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 <laughs> it's interesting because 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 <laughs> I, I, I can't stop thinking about that that's great um so what's interesting though about the whole mythicals being allowed is this is the first time mythicals are allowed in vgc i believe ever ever yeah ever so, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. As, not as just in, in there, there not have, just one shield just ever there have been unlimited restricted formats in the past apparently which i think they were also kind of last hurrahs for their gen mm-hmm. like you they were they came after gs cup but um but yeah first time mythicals ever allowed and again like the reason is because 
uh in the past you've generally needed to go to a, a real life event to get them like not nah, right mo eventually it kind of tr tr like uh went from real life events to like get this card at a GameStop or something and then more recently it's just been get them online with a like a mystery gift but kind so they've definitely gotten more accessible over time but there's still a lot that you just straight up can't get today right i kind of wish i kept up with those more than i did by which i mean at all but eh. right before i got into vgc i got really into getting my living decks and it was hard i had to like hunt down game cards on ebay from years and years ago oh. and like uh change the dns on my like original ds so it would like think that it was connected to event wi-fi so that i could get that yeah it was kind of wild I, I i talk a lot about jenning but i also like collecting legitimately like just for the sake of it not for battling so like yeah it was it was, wow. it was a lot <laughs> yeah that's that's intense i wow i i i would not have thought i I would not have thought about how hard it is to get any single Pokemon, right? Like it's, it, it's easy if you back. keep up with it, but if you wait five years, it's impossible. But like if I start right now, if I go from nothing right now and get my very first you Pokemon gotta, game today, that's a that's a hunt. That's a, you got a journey ahead of you, and like yeah. the good news is that they always like eventually they'll come around and do another event that has it right like nowadays sure. you can get Mew. you can get Mew and celebi from like the virtual console games on 3ds and like mm -hmm. those will probably come to switch eventually and then they'll probably do ruby and sapphire and let you get like jirachi and then deoxys is in oris i think so like right th there's a bunch of stuff but yeah uh, kind of sad there's no deoxys and swish yeah that'd be really fun yeah but um, there's a lot of cool stuff i have i have ideas and i suspect that i am behind the curve on crazy ideas for this Oh, when when it actually comes out and we start playing it, I'm going to steal ideas. I'm not Just gonna try. Nonsense. I'm not gonna try and brew anything up for that. That's gonna be hard. Um, but speaking of playing series thirteen, all right, we're going into that. All right, so yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So we've been talking about and procrastinating forever on a game corner tournament, and it's finally going to happen. We've we we're kind of procrastinate. Like what Never. did you possibly yeah. mean by that <laughs> yeah so we were kind of waffling on what format to do it on we were thinking like maybe no max dual restricteds no max no restricteds and then series 13 fell from the heavens and as that that morning we or yes uh, two days ago uh we were like that's the format we're doing we're doing exactly. that one i'm sure other grassroots tournaments will do it as well but there's not that many grassroots events these days so uh, we'd Really think that this would be great to like get people together, do that. There will be a prize pool. We will be doing long form. Um, prize pool will scale on how many people join. So if you want more money, please join and please get your friends to join. Um, everything will be done on the Discord. Um, by the time this episode airs, we will have a uh, form, yep. a Google form in the Discord where you can just submit your information. We will literally make give it, us. Yeah, we'll your make Discord it very name. apparent. Um, yeah. So check check in the description below for the uh, Discord link our first plug there uh, of the of the podcast um both in youtube or on youtube and on spotify um in the description there'll be the link there make sure you check it out join there'll be i'll say it now uh there'll be a channel that says tournament sign up or something and that's just gonna have the form right we'll make it yeah. super easy to find so that it's not confusing and then you can come and say hi offline on discord with us so it'll be fine yeah we we want this to be long form so i mean we could there's a lot of these weekend tours which are fun and but they're also either a lot a lot of people don't really just have the like uh, the, the it, it's just a hard to play non-stop yeah. pokemon for like eight hours and set aside an entire day of your life for it especially if you're not used sometimes. to it yeah so what we're gonna do is uh it's based on what pokesports used to do a while back it's called the liege and it's basically just um you like you match make with your opponents well Depending on how many people we get, we'll either do Swiss or groups or just single elimination if it's not t not too many people. Yeah. And um, yeah, you play your matches, you schedule when you can. Um, if you have a problem with scheduling with your opponent, just let us know and we'll we'll figure something out. We'll um, definitely work to make it and... make it the most fun and entertaining for everyone involved. Yeah, this is our first time doing it, so we'll be playing some stuff stuff by ear. But um, oh, we, we played... will mess up. Don't, oh, don't. <laughs> we will not be perfect this first time yeah. for sure but we have all played in a lot of events and so we have a general yeah. idea of how this goes um we will do our best as tos uh, going forward and 
I think I, I don't know if we're playing. I, th I think it's gonna come down to how many people there are and if we need to round out some numbers or not. But we'll figure that out. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and speaking of tos, we should actually get to. I I'll, I need to do that. I, mean, I started that like three or four weeks ago and never actually completed it. <laughs> uh, whoops. Um. Anyway, so this episode comes out on uh, August fifth. Uh, that is a Friday. Um. Well, that we'll have the first sort of uh stage of this tournament, whatever that is. Uh, we'll probably start on the 22nd. Uh, that's a Monday, so that week. Um, I'm tempted to say that signups close on the 19th, which is two weeks after this episode airs, um, and give us a couple days to kind of organize the tournament that weekend. Um, I think that makes the most sense, and, and then if, if you're late to the party, we can probably still fit you in if you sign up on that weekend. Um, but it closes on the 19th, so... <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I think there should be plenty of time. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, excited for it. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, more people equals more money. So please, uh, please sign up. Please get your friends to sign up. That'll that'll be great. Yeah, that'll um, be fun. Yeah. So okay, do you want to blabber on about series thirteen, or do you want to get into um, the trailer? Series thirteen is super fun. So the trailer, anyway, dropped this morning. <laughs> yes. Scar okay. And... I, 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 I take your hand. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's let's uh, we 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 are playing this episode by ear. Shocking. Um, so we don't have an order to go by. But I I I I take that back. Uh, I'm gonna send you something real quick in the Discord, um, Rowan. Oh, perfect, and perfect, perfect, perfect. So that is what we're looking at is the Scarlet and Violet like Pokemon uh, page, um, and we're just gonna kind of go through these news bullets. Um, Okay, uh, can we start order. with the motorcycles? Okay. We, we, we knew from before, from the last trailer, that Corridon and Miradon are the legendary, the box legendary Pokemon of the Scarlet and Violet. Bikes. And they're just motorcycles. We, we knew that. We saw that. Um, but, but, but also, wait, hold on. They're not just motorcycles. Uh, because freaking Corridon runs. Okay, yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot to unpack here, but let's start with that <laughs> because the the the, the Scarlet Legendary Cor ride on the past one, it has wheels. It has somehow just no no sprouted wheels out of its chest and and backside, so, but it just runs and the wheels don't spin. So hold on, hold on. This I I love this because I I really thought this before, and I don't know if I can prove that because I don't know if I said it publicly anywhere, but I did not think that those wheels would move because. It, <laughs> My theory, and, and like this, this kind of holds true, is that Corridon is a lizard that looks like a motorcycle. So you know those like neck things that some reptile reptiles have, lizards like whatever. Sorry if you're just on a, it's a motorcycle a, a, wheel. Okay, a okay. video. I mean, it's an audio medium. But um, this actually goes along is. with like the whole the idea of convergent evolution um, that they're touching on. Uh, also at that. least at the, well, that the leak said there would be. So uh, uh, never mind. That, oh, that, hold I, on. Won't, I won't I won't go any further than that. Never mind. That's yeah. a word that I won't elaborate on what it means. I'm sorry. Um, maybe hey, what it is. I, don't, I, I think that's I think that's vague enough. That, that is a normal it. like that's a, that's an actual. It's science an actual term. biological concept, yeah. and it's not the official name in Pokemon. So never mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's cool. It could be like a yeah, some kind of like lung sac or whatever it's growing out. That just which looks is like how a it swims. It floats with that thing. <laughs> Why does it expand when it has to run along the ground? I don't know. In case it trips and falls, who knows? It's the airbag. Yeah, but then obviously, okay. so 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 Corridon is a lizard that looks like a motorcycle, but Miradon is a motorcycle that looks like a lizard, because that thing is just actually a motorcycle. And it's awesome. I'm sorry. I'm I'm like hard team Violet right now. Like maybe there will be some exclusives on Scarlet that win me over. But uh, so I was yeah. I was I'm still not sure. Um, I was kind of going back and forth, uh, because both of them look really cool in their own respective ways. Uh, but the Scarlet. Le the Scarlet exclusives we know about right now is might be enough to sway me to just get Scarlet because I saw Bagon Titar is, there. is Titar is Scarlet, right? No, Titar is uh, Violet. Titar and oh, Titar. Stonejourner is Violet, and Scarlet has Bagon and Ice Q. I I thought it was reversed. Boy, I hope I... not. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Am I wrong? Yeah, and 
I think Tyranitar is going to be a better VGC mon than Salamence, but we'll get them both. Who, who cares? It's oh, just what you want for your player. Yeah, I just like to see little Bagon in the wild. Did I have that backwards? I need to figure. I want to say Violet gets Salamence, but I, I could be wrong. I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't, don't know where that me. is. Well, don't. <laughs> on the exact opposite sides of the fence. Fence there. Um. Shoot. Okay. Well, whichever one has Bagon is what I was thinking. That might be Violet. You might be right. Now that you said it with more confidence than me, so maybe that's true. Um, okay, I will put in the description if I'm right or wrong, and then you have to know why that is. If you read the description before you read, before you watch the, the podcast. Um, anyway, so that one might be what I lean towards, but I'm still not sure. We'll see what, what other exclusives so, are. Back, back on the legendary bikes for a second. Uh, first of all, um... You touched on it. They can swim. I believe they can also glide. Is that is that something that we saw in the trailer? We saw we saw a sprint, swim, glide, climb, and jump. Which we did awesome. see one so, that just jump. So they Which, are taking they are taking a lot of the lessons from Legends Arceus because mm -hmm. the freedom of movement in that game. Like, uh, uh, let, let's be honest with ourselves. The graphics were, uh. But Scarlet and Violet look beautiful, and they look to have that same degree of freedom of movement, which I am so excited for. Like, that yes. joy of movement is one of my favorite parts of video games. It's why I stick to games longer than others and so on. And, like, it, it looks like this one has it um, in terms of, like, we're, we're kind of, like, breaking out of, like, the just that this is a good RPG into this is a good video game to control, which uh, I'm excited for. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I agree. I'm really looking forward to that, right, with, with the open world aspect. So the... I mean, sto story reasons aside, right, it seems like you get these legendary Pokemon pretty early. Um, we're talking in, in one of the discords that we're in uh, earlier today, and you might just have them to ride and not actually to fight with, which makes a degree of sense. Um, yeah, or they I might think... scale with you somehow in the, in the way that, um, um, uh, what did? Like Pikachu and Eevee and, like, Let's Go? Or you yeah, something, something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But... I mean, obviously, if it's like if it's if you're if it's your starter Pokemon, you get level five. Okay, cool, whatever, right? Yeah, but I mean, like weird. in um in Sun and Moon, you got all those ride Pokemon, which were way stronger than what you'd reasonably have at the time. But like, okay, you sure. get this Tauros, you get this Charizard, but they're just here to take you around. I guess that's how they're gonna do it with these legendaries. But yeah, but I I I want to see like we we have typing, we have abilities. I don't think abilities. Hold on, I don't think there's abilities yet now. Sadly. No. Just so we have typing, like so, I'd like to see them fight at some point. Um, whatever that point is, they changed the website. I can't find it. Um, but yeah, so that that'd be cool. Um, but I again, if we actually get to fight with them later, then whatever. If we just get to ride them for the time being in the beginning, cool. But you're right, the freedom of movement, the fact that they replace HMs with this one single Pokemon, which is very different than what they've done for the past. I, I love games. it. I, I, yeah. A, a, HMs were like, they were a cool idea of like my Pokemon are helping me explore the world, but they ultimately became an annoyance. And I, mm -hmm. God, before you could forget them, I remember like kids on the playground being so upset that their Charizard was saddled with cut for the rest of their lives. Like, <laughs> ah, ah. yes. Even the fact that like yeah. you had to go to a specific uh, NPC, NPC to, to do them. it. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks, man. So yes, like I, I think the evolution of, of that gatekeeping, right, is it's it's a game gatekeeping uh has grown, which is very good. Yeah. Now I wanna know, like, do can they just do all this stuff right away? Can you just do whatever, or do you have to like unlock it? I suspect gliding? you'll unlock it. It's kinda yeah. like uh in Swish you had the bike that did everything, but like it, it, it had to unlock being on water. Uh yeah, you have to you have to the get story. the water attachment for your lizard. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to pull that off narratively. Probably very clumsily, but uh, I, mean, I, probably, I, I suspect oh, they won't just let you fly to begin with. Your Corridon has uh, remembered remembered, like, or gained the ability. It leveled up and learned surf. Fly? Yeah. Fly. Every, uh. It's like how Samus just somehow gets every piece of her suit blasted off before each game and has to re-get all the same upgrades. Yes, correct. It can't... <laughs> yes. Um, or, or, or some potential like time travel shenanigans caused it, right? With, with the, sure. the, the they'll, they'll, uh, they'll come up with, they'll come up with some nonsense so that you have an RPG progression. Yep. Yep. Uh, so that's, that's, that's those guys. And boy, so. I'm, I'm super excited to see it. 
So other thing I'm really excited about, they've uh, kind of expanded on the uh, the co-op. We, we were talking about this earlier, yes. um, or the, with, with the last trailer, I guess, and they were like, you can play live with other people, and we're like, and do what? Um, so they've shown two things here. Um, first is that you can all be riding your mounts together. Um, Which is cool. Like, trade and battle, and uh, like coordinate with your with like they showed people like all like racing their motorcycle bike uh, motorcycle mons together is racing pretty cool but yes it's so cute i love yeah. it and then uh the other thing is that raids are back um yeah. well i want and... to touch on one thing real quick for the multiplayer stuff right and and we we mentioned it before and they've mentioned every trailer i think um because they they really put some emphasis on this is a multiplayer game which is better than again the wild area and swish and everything else before. So we, I, I was very uh, skeptical of what it was going to be, but to see like the, them basically come out and say you can play the whole game multiplayer and not lose any bit of the Progress, experience, yeah. right? No, that's no, awesome. yes. And I'm like, whoa, that's super cool. Now, that maybe maybe not progress, right? I guess we don't know how the story progression goes. Um, which we'll touch on the stories yeah, here. In you a probably moment. can't like tag team a gym or something. But, yeah, like, that's what I'm curious your about. Your friend can like, literally be in the game cheering you on, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I, I am. Yeah, I guess m maybe I spoke a little a little too excited too soon, but it seems like it's very close to that, right? That that there's no limitations on the multiplayer, right? Or, or very little, yeah. I should say. Um, please don't tell me I'm wrong in the comment section below. Or do with more <laughs> engagement. Ha ha. <laughs> Um, but yes, now you are saying the raid battles. Yes. So, um, don't want to get too, uh, I think what you fight against in the raid battles instead of Dynamax is its own separate topic. But the fact that raid battles are back is yes. very cool. I, I think that was like, a Swish kind of got it from Pokemon Go. And I think raids were like one of the, I, I don't play Go anymore, but I think that was something where they really hit it like yes. the nail on the head like that was a great idea to get everybody battling together against the same big boss that kind of has like this epic feel like even with something as janky and just tap 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 as go like You're it right. was still pretty cool the first time you were like you all found that articuno together like the first legendary and you were all just like struggling to take it down like that was awesome so i, I think that's a great idea to bring it back everybody loves it in uh in swish as well um and so what's interesting about them here is that it's apparently not going to be quite as turn-based. Um, I, I, they didn't yeah. really elaborate on it, um, but they said that you, you, it allows, okay, directly from the news page, it says this battle system has a time limit and allows you to continue attacking seamlessly without having to wait for other trainers to choose their actions. So that's, that's neat. That sounds more like the Go Raid battles than the Swish ones where they're like, right in the turn-based battle system but i assume that it is still like choosing your moves and speed um, has still to come into that somehow right there still has to be something it's interesting to take the the turn-based out of the turn-based battle system um but like there has to be some degree of you know my zacian should not be attacking at the same rate that my snorlax does right like something like that um yeah I um they also I, I don't know if you remember when you play Swish raid battles and you die before um your teammates do your cheer. trainer got to like spend the turn cheering it looks like that is actively just part of the system now like your mon doesn't yep. have to be down to use a cheer so they're adding some strategic value there too which is good because once you do co-op like the the general battle system kind of falls apart and you need to add new dimensions to to like add some depth to it so I like that a lot. Yeah, there is limits though. You have like I guess three types of cheers, and you can only cheer three times per raid battle. Yeah, so it, it's a resource to manage too, which I, which yeah. I think is really no, cool. Yeah, no, like, yeah, sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't yeah. trying to, to to talk down on that. I think it's very good. Um, yeah. It's just it's interesting now because humans are Pokemon. Now humans apparently have moves with PP. Huh? They finally admitted that. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> I um. Uh... The only thing that I'm a little concerned about, um, and I guess I shouldn't expect anything different, uh, I, I'm normally singing Nintendo's praises, but here's where I trash them, <laughs> is that if you go to the bottom of it, it still shows a link code to, um, to join a group with your friends. Um, maybe it'll, I, I hope it's more stable than YCOM was, because like, that, that was like the real souring factor on Switch. Like We were all trying to do these raids, we were all trying to enjoy the co-op factor with each other, 
and then it's like oh no you this is like how fast can you type this in will it happen to do it no like i still have tournaments that are kind of ruined by ycom right. not connecting me and the one person who's typing in that code let alone however many people are going to maybe do it in like a public discord or something right so right that's um i i hope they do it well i mean link codes are link codes it's not the best but it's it's something as long as it still connects you stably i guess i'll live with that yeah we'll see um i think is is it i don't know if they've changed it since whenever but i know earlier when they're doing online stuff with like 3ds and whatnot it was all peer-to-peer -peer, which sucks and i think switch is the same thing switch i mean yeah switch is um it's it, so they they have matchmaking servers but once you enter a game it's peer-to-peer -peer okay is, is the way it generally works and that's how like fighting games work too but fighting games do it because peer-to-peer -peer is actually more efficient most of the time um gotcha. because there's only two people uh in this for pokemon i i, I think it's because they don't want to pay for actual dedicated servers to handle the sure. game. Sure. So, yep. You know, uh, I digress. I, uh, that, that, is, that is my speculation, hope, but it, it seems right. Uh, yeah. And hopefully it's good, right? I mean, we can, yeah. we can only hope, but I will not be shocked or too disappointed to see. A, That's a, always been kind of go. thing. Yeah. They, they, make, they make fantastic games with terrible connectivity. Yep. 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 Um, okay. So, Ray Battles was super cool. Another great multiplayer thing uh to come to come out of that uh but we are looking at i'm gonna skip a, i think it's a, a time. square here terra 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 terrestrial to terra to terra however you say terra, that the terra stall phenomenon which i think is going, yeah which uh <laughs> so terra stylization that's, that's a bit of a cool. tongue twister terra hey, styling. Hey, i think we're just gonna you, call it terra the way we call dynamax you Max. know you know what i'm super excited for what all of the casters have to say terror stylization so many times during um you know you events know that they won't allow them to abbreviate it yes because they, they, they have can't very say... specific rules yep um so boy uh y'all casters good luck <laughs> better uh, start doing like your your, your like <laughs> okay Gotta let's warm up. elaborate on what this is real quick so this is the new gimmick um it was uh I didn't want to say it before when we were talking about raids, but um, every raid Pokemon, the way you fought a Dynamax Pokemon in Sword and Shield, you will fight a Terra Stylized Pokemon. Hey, I think you nailed in, it in one. A Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. And mm -hmm. uh, visually, it is, you just turn into a bunch of crystals, like the Mon gets very crystally and then gets some kind of hat. So, like, yeah. Depending on the type. I saw this and I was, uh, my, my, I had two immediate thoughts. One, they get cool shiny crystal armor, and two, they get a Kirby hat. Right? Also made of crystals. Also made of crystals, yes. but they're all Kirby hats, just base type dependent, right? So I'm like, oh dang it, this is absurd, and I love it. Yeah, so um, it looks very cool. This is um, we were talking about like uh, in in the leak episode, we were talking about what we thought it was. We were actually wrong on that, by the way. Yes. Um, the uh, so the way terrestrialization works, um is that so we had originally thought that it was just going to be you got stab on another type as it turns out you can actually just flat out change the type of your mon to any other type like you have your pokemon has a terra type that is like it can only terra stylize to that type and any yep. pokemon can be can become any type but it has to be set prior to the battle and well uh, so now hold on, hold on hold on because i do not think what you said is entirely true i've read conflicting things some pokemon might be limited to no, a, a I, I don't think you can choose. Types. I think when I have this Pikachu, it can only yes. be one Terra type. It'll only have one Terra type. Right, right. When you catch a Pokemon, it will only have one Terra type. Yes. But a Pikachu can have... Any given Pikachu could be any given Terra type. Yes. They're not so only it, flying. It does... It Like, one of the lines on the, on the website is there are 18 types, meaning there are countless combinations of Pokemon and Terra types. Yes. So, like, I think that, yes, I think any species of Pokemon can have a Terra type of any of the 18 types. Yes, and the rumor is that you will be able to change your Pokemon's Terra type in the end game, but we don't know for sure. That's... I mean, okay, I think, yeah, that's a rumor. We There's no indication on... I don't even think that stuff. was a leak. I think it's just, like, it's just speculation. People speculating, because they've been right? so Because it's so, they've been so good about making the competitive game easier to like get set up for like you got but your hold suit. on they also say for the raids that like the main point of doing raids is to get rare terra type pokemon or it's true, po it's whatever true. right 
So like, are you just gonna like, when you get to the end of the game, you don't ever have to play multiplayer stuff, right? That seems weird. Yeah. And now, I don't disagree. I think they'll have something at some point. I don't know if it's gonna be DLC. Might be DLC. Actually, Endgame. DMX Soup was with the first DLC, so that that could be it. Yep. Um, I could see That's it. That's kind of my theory. Um, and I, I, I am just going to type some keys and get my mom that has the right terror type, but uh but yeah so anyway uh, get it, getting back to what this is um any mon can in theory turn into any single type and it will get the stab bonus on that type what you can also do is tear is terrestrialize to your own type and you get no defensive like changes no, except, no, for, no type except change. for except for potentially dropping your dual type because yes. you can only terrestrialize to a single type um and then you get an additional bonus which we don't know how big but would hypothesize about stab so it, it, it seems like again no nothing set in stone nothing uh explicitly stated but it seems like you get it seems like you get stabbed twice which is so still this is, huge this is super cool this is actually amazing i love this strategically so we've been talking about this like the thing i loved about dynamax was that it was and what other people hated about dynamax is that it was so versatile you could use yep. it offensively you could use it defensively you could use it to set effects yep with uh but the problem and I, I agree with it too is that it does those things at the same time it's like is my mon yes. about to die and it can't do enough damage well now it gets big now it doesn't die and now it kills you so yep. Yep, yep, yep. doing those at the same time is rough whereas with terrestrialization got in one <laughs> yeah you have to choose so you say okay my charizard's about to take a rock type attack like do I change to steal and resist it, but then not do as much damage with my flamethrower? Or do I go all in on fire, still take super effective damage, and nuke them with 1.5 times 1.5 times solar power times whatever? Like Right. So this should be stated, um, to, to, to ask some clarification what you said. Yes, it seems, um, and everything's kind of pointing to, you become monotype to your terotype, which is, again, uh, extra stab changing the stab or just changing defenses which is all good options uh you can do this once per battle to one pokemon and i believe it lasts the entire battle if, even if they switch is that true uh, i didn't see anything I, don't, about I, had, I i don't think they showed it in the trailer I, I i had thought that it went away when you switched but i might be wrong i'm reading real quick to see if i can find um you can tear you can Terrestrialize a Pokemon once per battle, and the transformation will last until the battle ends. Ah, okay, so it's it more says. like a mega form. It's more like a so mega yes, form in that one. Yes, which I, I still think is good. Um, you, you so you have options. Uh, so what's cool about that is that you have the you like Dynamax. Any of your Pokemon can terrestrialize. It does not seem like you need a held item or anything special like that, which is great. Um, because in in uh, VGC battle, you have four options where you can ter ter terrorist. I'm gonna mess it up. Terrestrialize, um, and you can change that based off of different, you know, situations. In the same way you could for Dynamax, which is, I think, the best part about this gimmick. It it takes the benefits of it takes the good things from Dynamax, um, and really simplifies not simplifies. Oh, no, it simplifies. Like, I, I it doesn't would say do so. As much. You don't. You don't have to worry about like steel spike boosts and setting weather yeah. and and G max residual effects and all this nonsense, right? Like, so it's still a ton of depth, but it isn't as crazy. I think they just took the correct. best parts of Megas and the best parts of Dynamax and put them together. Even yep. in some ways, the best part is Z moves. Yeah, I mean, to 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 an extent, I think, right? Like they, the I saw some people in in, in some discords that I'm in talking crap about this of like oh no they, they they did a new gimmick right but i think if you take 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 that thought we just had and realize oh they are changing the gimmick to actually make gameplay better and not just expand upon something that's broken to begin with it's very good yeah right i, I think it's fantastic and i think mons are going to have really cool uh like interactions with this like that are unique to them they're talking about charizard Okay, so yeah, you can go fire and nuke even harder than usual, right? But you can use that monotyping to remove your quad weakness. Okay, I'm fi I'm only fire, and now I can survive a rock attack because it's just regular super effective. I have go a question. Ahead. I have a question. Yes, <laughs> me, me. P p pick, go, pick, go, me. go. Uh, uh, your picks. What are the chances that Charizard's not in this game? Uh, I, I don't know what I'm allowed to say here. Why? 
because I think I know from a leak, but I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll, t- we'll take that offline. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't indicate one way or the other. Uh, uh, just <laughs> for, for our sensitive viewers, I love all of you. Um, no, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> d- 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 damn it. Um, there goes my bit. Um, okay, well, then that, moving on. Um, it's cool though, because there's a lot of, I'm excited to see with, with what, what we know now, people are already starting to theory craft and, and kind of think of some cool things with the, with the mons that we either have seen in the trailers, which is kind of like, if this was in sword and shield, what could it be? Right. Or whatever. Right. Which is cool. I'm excited to see what people who are really good at team building come up with. Right. Yeah, so if Shedinja is in the game, this is my favorite one we've talked about so far. You can terrestrialize to just normal type and only have one weakness. Or or terrestrialize to electric and just have an air balloon. And you can't. Yeah. Then you can die to sand, I guess, and that's literally it. Yeah, you just have hazards and, and weather is the only thing that you could um and and burns, I guess. You can you can, can he the shed can be hit by status moves, right? So you could like will o wisp it or something. Uh oh yeah, it can. It can. But it'll still get busted. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. Like the the people who set up sturdy shed will also usually thunder wave their own shed so it can't be burned. Crazy stuff oh. like that. Yeah. I, uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That was a good idea. Yeah, but there's all kinds of cool combinations like that. Um, I'm I'm super excited to see what people come up with. People who are way more creative than me. I yep. I'm I'm good at using other people's strategies at the right time. But that's, coming that's, up with them, that's me coming too. up with them is a lot harder. I, I uh, yeah, I want to get better at, at brewing up teams for for Scarlet and Violet, but we'll see if that actually if I follow through with that. <laughs> Probably yeah. not. Um. So yeah, I think this is I think for a gimmick this is great. I think I think we I'm excited to see what happens from it. Um the only other thing to to touch on this I think is you the the what seems to be a key item, right? Uh to make this happen just looks like a a pokeball made of obsidian with a jewel inside. That's what it looks like. It is called the Terror Orb. Very creative. Mm. Um and it, it's, I, I don't, I want to see how they use that in game. Like, I think I saw, I think one of the animations from the trailer is like them actually taking this jewel stem, I mean, uh, jewel stone Pokemon, Pokeball, oh, jewel stone Pokeball, and just chucking it at their Pokemon and then boom, they're crystal. <laughs> just beating them in the head. They turn into a rock. Yeah. I, and then in story, like in, in non VGC battles, right? So like when you're playing through the game, you can only use it once per battle. But then you have to like recharge the crystal yeah. at either a Pokemon Center or a crystal you can find in the wild. Um, yeah, looking at that, so I, I like that a lot actually. So looking, uh, you can find crystals all over the the overworld and pick them up, and that'll charge up your thing too. Yeah. But that was great because that was something I actually really didn't like about playing through X and Y when they introduced Megas was that um, when you're just going down a route, you could Mega evolve every battle with no limitations. And there was literally, I mean, it, the game was already really easy, but it, it became to the point where it was just like, I was sleeping through it. And it was just like, throw out my starter, click the Mega Evolve button, destroy whatever's sitting in front of me, and then get way too much XP. Rinse and that's repeat. A problem in yeah. Itself. But yeah, it, at least make me kind of think. I, I, I know Pokemon's never going to be hard in the single player, but like, I, I don't want to go into a literal coma during, during gameplay. Yeah, it's interesting to make, for them to make it a resource to manage in the, like, a casual playthrough of it i think it's good it, yeah, is, no, it feels very like green lantern must charge his ring but i have no problem with that do, do you remember like playing through early games and like dungeons were kind of a pain and like yes you could cheese it and just walk a million miles to a pokemon center between every three battles if you felt like it but like it, it would, if you wanted to play through the game properly quote unquote like go through the whole thing manage your healing items like yep. go into battles with half your mons half dead and then gary comes around a corner and bops you like that was pretty cool like i we, we need more of that yeah it's it's a uh, quick tangent right like i was playing a game i was playing new world with, with some friends of mine and we finally hit a dungeon that we couldn't actually just steamroll and we we're like holy crap this is super annoying really frustrating but fun like yeah. the most fun we had of the game right it's like same thing it's, it's just having having a degree of difficulty 
it's not it's still gonna be a pokemon game but you have this other resource to manage you can't just go and 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 cheese it with a the gimmick right which to be fair like in, in sword and shield you you just their story reason was you had to be out of out of power spot to to dynamax yeah and, right? that, was, and that was why you and it, it was a pretty like iffy reasoning but it was good because if you could have dynamax against any any trainer out in the wild it would have been absurd <laughs> And also, they probably just didn't want to animate that in every background, but you know. And dynamate the Dynamax every like Pidgey you find in the wild. Yeah, and apparently it. a bunch of the trainers in the wild are going to use it too, which is going to be pretty cool. Like, I'm, I yeah. think it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I, I'm excited to see like NPCs use use this more, right? I'm again, as much as I want it, there won't be difficulty, but like just to see the NPCs use the gimmick more and to see like. I would not be shocked if in, you know, that first weekend when we're playing through the game, right? And and some of us s- s- speeding through the game to try and get to, to end game for VGC stuff. But, like, we're going to see NPCs do some weird stuff. And it's like, yeah. oh. I think we got ideas. There's oh, already I hadn't such, thought about that. Yeah. There's already such cool things people have come up with. Um, someone did the math. Assuming that Terra Still Eyes is 1.5 times. Yes. Porygon Z with adaptability <sighs> and choice specs using hyper beam with terrestrialized to normal is something like base 750 yeah. i think yeah and i then think moxie like, did that right and then scissor size or whatever i don't know how you're supposed to say his name size or Ter- 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 to steal and uses uh technician bullet punch that's a priority base like 500 move or something like what the, the people doing this stuff are coming up with like what's the most broken normal thing and then uh, how do we break that more with terrestrialization? I, I hope they've thought this through. <laughs> I hope. But it I sounds mean, really but it sounds really cool. I'm excited about it now. It's the same way I'm excited about Series 13 right now. And in a yeah. month from now, I might be like, oh, God, get that Mew away from me. <laughs> like, what is, uh, like, what is this Melmetal doing in my house? <laughs> That's, oh, gosh, yeah, Melmetal. I forgot about him. Oh Ooh, yeah, gonna be yeah fun. No, there's there's, gonna be there's fun some time. stuff. I we'll, we'll talk about series thirteen again in another episode. I have so much. Hyper beam, stab, that ability, all that fun stuff. Seven fifty nine base power. I found I found the tweet. Very so nice. like that's yeah, huge. That'll, that will oak the things that resist it. I think I, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Absolutely. So there's there's some broken stuff, and we'll we'll see. Obviously, obviously we have to see what's in the game. Um, but whew, that's exciting. Um, okay, I think that's. Anything else for terrestrialization? Because that was probably the biggest topic here, really. Yeah, I think that's the meat of of the trailer entirely. To be honest, there's a lot of um, there's some there's some like minor things. You'll get a special Pikachu that can fly and gets like the balloon terrestrialization. That's cute, which um, is fantastic. Yeah, they just uh, had to throw Fly and Pikachu back into the game somehow, yeah. which is they solid. you can they stress that you could play the gyms in any order that you want, but I don't think they confirmed any kind of scaling. So it might just be that you can challenge yourself with a higher level gym earlier if you so choose. So yeah, um, the discussion there has been, there's no indication of scaling, like you said, and it, they specifically said that you can go fight a harder gym if you wanted to, but does harder gym mean higher level or different type? So there's yeah, different yeah, options there. And I mean, I'm, I want there to be scaling, right? Like, however many badges you have dict- dictates what level and what Pokemon the gym leader brings out. I mean, they Cause, they had that in, in Origins? Is that what it was? What what YouTube series was that where they did that? Yeah, yeah, it, it, where uh, Brock is like, yeah. okay, you, uh, you just have that, so let me pull out my Onyx and Geodude, but he's, like, pulling it out from a pile of Pokeballs. Like, it was so cool. He clearly like, had a Golem in the back. So put it in the game. Put it in the, the actual yeah, thing, yeah. please. And I think that's great because, okay, I, I think the only argument against that is that it removes the sense of progression, right? It's like, if your Pokemon never, if, if, if the things you will fight always get stronger, then it feels like your Pokemon are getting stronger. But that's not true because they get new moves, they get evolutions, they get new abilities. Like, you get access to new tools. Like, you don't have to just start okoing things I, to feel like your party's growing, wait, are you, are in you, my opinion. Are you talking against the scaling for that reason? Yeah, I'm saying that's the only argument. I want there to be scaling, but I'm, that's yeah. the only argument I can think of against and, it, personally. Well, my, my thing, too, is level scaling, meaning they scale with badge number to a higher level. Yeah, not that, yeah. Not whatever, like, your starter is level 52, so we're going to have level 53 Pokemon to make it, you know. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, not yeah, like yeah. that. Because I know, that, would be, that would be better, for sure, the way you're describing with badges. Yes, and I think that'd be more uh, consistent with, like, what Pokemon should be. Yeah, agreed. 
Okay. Yeah. Agreed for sure. Yeah. But I mean, it, it's still cool. The, the the freedom is awesome. It means that you can go and like head off to the city that your friends are at, even if you're at different stages in the game and you want to play some co-op. So that's that's nice. Um, I'm excited to I, see that come out, come, uh, play out, and I'm also excited to see how wild Pokemon are distributed level wise. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'll be cool too. It, they um they definitely need to uh do a good job of like getting the level curve right because a lot of mm -hmm. games in the past have had had serious problems with it and then switch kind of had the unique issue of like the the xp candies i, I think they're good because it just gives you the option to skip the grind if you want but some people like accidentally candied themselves like way over leveled and then the rest of the game was trivial and that was kind of awkward I, I hope they find a way to like control it to a degree i guess um sure. but yeah I'm trying to think what else there was. Um, they're 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 kind of touting like more character customization. Um, it's kind of annoying Only because all of the outfits, of. yeah, yeah, all all the outfits are school children, so that's annoying. But the um, you can like change facial facial shape now and stuff. So like, the characters do look a little less horrifying doll like than they did in Swish. So that's, they, that's good. That's a plus. The fact that you can, like emote for like multiplayer stuff is like you yeah, too. It's very and good. Don't have their features painted onto a like a flat potato face. Right. What if you just talk like this the whole time and it's it's very Oh no, exciting. you need you need a really creepy smile while you do that. Like Yeah. What if you just talk like this the whole time? Anyway, oh um so yeah, that's cool. Um I think the other interesting thing here, um, real quick, you go to a school. Okay, we saw that. They did say I um there was names for the schools, which not super important, but I want to say it anyway because I saw it in the trailer. They don't have it on yeah, this thing. Yeah, uh, the Naranja Academy oh. and the Uva Academy, which I I think I assume that's just different by game. Naranja, being Naranja orange. and I Uva. I don't yes. know what I don't know what Uva is actually. So. Don't speak Spanish all that well. <laughs> Wait, is that just grape? Oh, it might be. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's grape. Yeah, it's I'm literally sure the it orange is. and grape. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> wow, my Spanish is rusty. Cute. Um, cool. Yeah. That's cute. But yeah. Apart from that, I think the uh, there are some characters, but like the that's, that's not really much to discuss. I maybe they'll characterize them well. Uh, they've been doing a better job of that in recent gens. And they but, they uh, were they were they were touting the characters like this is going to be so cool when you have all these different characters. Um, one of them though, the upperclassman you meet, his name is Arvin, is good at cooking, which means that my theory, cooking in the game, back. curry is back okay, so, or something. something like that. Yes. Um, because why else would it's they just cute. say I, cooking? I liked the camping. I, I thought, I, I thought it was a fun little, like, right. bond with cute. your mons thing, even if I don't do it, and like, haven't done it since month one, but. They've, <laughs> that's true. They've had, like, the Pokemon and me, the Pokemon other ones that i can't think of pokemon camp and sword and shield so they, they've had that so there's gonna there has to be something like that yeah and I it think, gets better every time yeah and i imagine the stuff that we've seen from the game like i think it's gonna be like arceus where you can throw your pokemon out in whatever environment you're in at least for battles we've seen that and, and we've seen yeah, stuff of it with like, but like not battles like just hey i want to see my my for a Coco out in the field right now, you can do that. So I wonder if that's how they're going to do it. Like, you toss your Pokeball, you pet your Pokemon, and you can see the environment Well, there's you. following. There's following for sure. Yes. And the following Mons look to be better scaled than they have been. Yeah, like, which is past, great. Which is really nice. The fact I'm, that they're I'm, actually I'm tiny, it. it's adorable. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, uh, so like, I think the oh. last really important thing, maybe not important thing, but nice thing from this trailer was that we got a lot more confirmations on Mons that are going to be included uh, in the regional decks. Oh, uh, hold on. We totally skipped over the best boy. This doe dog. Oh, puppy, yeah. <laughs> Fido. A Brett. He's just he's a yeasty boy. That is a top tier pun. I love I love dog mons and it's a fairy. So it'll probably be reasonably good. Like I'm, I'm ready. I, I don't know what its evolution is going to be, but it better be another bread pun. Uh, I hope so. Um, and this Doberman, it, he's got yeast, yeasty breath to ferment things. <laughs> like he'll help me make my mead. It'll be great. Um, and then we also had, uh, Satitan. So big ice land whale boy. Yes. Um, yes. that looks amazing. I, I saw this thing. And I was like, I, I immediately, I wanted it. That's I do hard. like all the designs we've seen so far. They're, yeah. They're all solid. I did see that it was just ice type and I was a little less happy, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> 
we've been talking about this. I think they need to buff ice. Like, it's, it's yes. Make it make it super effective against water. Done. But it can become any other type. That's true. That's so, actually it's gonna be so great. I, it's like, I sorry, wanna I'm, I wanna see the land whale with a crown hat thing. <laughs> I I got my uh I got confirmation my favorite Dragonite's in there, so Yes. You think you're gonna hit me with an ice move? No. I am terrestrializing to fire or steel or something, or maybe normal so I can get stab extreme speed. Like it's it's gonna be good. So many good options. Um, and then the other, so we had a saw, we saw a bunch of returning Pokemon, like you said. Um, and then we also had Paldean Whooper, <laughs> which is just a little poison it's boy. Brown, it's kind of he's cute. It's brown you can Whooper. say um, it. It's Pooper. Don't call him Pooper. He's kind of Pooper, but he's he's still there. It's just it. That's the first Paldean. Right, uh, variation we've seen, uh, regional form. So that's yeah, cool. yeah. Um, speaking of, we also saw the region. It's called Paldea. Um, yeah, the map and then looks great. The map, yeah, this the map uh, is amazing. Um, if you want to get a really, really good high res map, go to the Pokemon press site and just download it. Because I did that, and I'm like, I, I was showing uh, Rowan earlier. I was like, I'm able to zoom. Like, I can go so to school. In. I can find the school. I can't find the school. Where's the school? Oh, that's the, that, yeah, is, that is it. I can go to the school and front door and still like see it. It's not like three pixels big. It's it's awesome. Um, There's like very nice details. You can pretty much see what all the routes are gonna look like and stuff. So it's it, it's nice. I, One of the things I that I really this want has to do, the polish that we've been looking for in a game for a, a long time now. It's, so far, it's, it's looking that way, right? It's, it's gonna look. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I I I. Every game has been better than the last, I think. Um, nostalgia and whatnot aside. But I think this might legitimately be like a huge jump for Pokemon. Um, especially um, as we look at the last little bit for, for just casual playing side. The story, apparently there's three different like grand stories or whatever uh, that... that kind of happen in the game. We know one is the normal gym uh, progression that every game has some vari variation of. They changed some names. Like, it's not a victory road. It's a... It's a... Oh, gosh. What was it? They gave it a, a weird name. Uh, hold on. Assessment? Yeah, champion assessment is what the Elite Four equivalent thing is. So that's cool, I guess. Um, and then everyone can be a champion. And there's two other, uh, stories, which they didn't give any details on. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna beat Team Rocket or something. One, like that, yep. Right? One's gonna, gonna be the bad one. guys. And then, like, I would, I hope that the other one's not, like, catch every Pokemon. Um, so hopefully it's something very interesting. Um, but the fact that it can be done, that they can, you can do all of that out of order. Uh, you can weave, you know between whatever you want to do and make your own story is what they were saying. Um, that the open world, how, how great this map looks like I, I'm going to make this map my phone background or something. Cause it looks so good. I'm so excited for this map. Um, and, and like you said, like before with, with uh, the, the, the legendary lizards being able to go and like the freedom of movement to have in this giant world. Ah, uh, chef's kiss looks great. Um, the other thing too, uh, hold on before I jump to that. Is there anything else on the website that we didn't say? I think we've hit all the points. We just stretched out like a five minute trailer to a uh, solid hour. <laughs> um, we are, yeah, we're almost an hour. Holy crap. That's cool. Good job us. Um, so the other thing too, so I'm going to put a, uh, if I remember, which I should, I'll put a map up on the, uh, on the video, but there's. The, the giant swirling death circle yeah, crater in the, in the middle there. That, um, cool. You know, that's, that, that's going to be the conclusion of the giant legendary that tries to eat the world story, I assume. Yeah, that's something, right? Like, that's, that is the post-game location. Uh, there's The only things you can see on the map is a tower overlooking it, which seems to be a... Ta like, here, I'm going to share my screen so you can also see this. Um... But like a little tower that's looking over 
the the oh. crater, and okay, that's like a whole facility. Like a hot air balloon, maybe. A what? It looks kind of hot air balloony, like leaning over it, or or it's, it's kind of more like crystally. No, that look that looks like a uh, a weather satellite. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So like that's like a weather satellite standing on top of a tower overlooking this thing. So like someone like my theory, my guess is that uh, Sada or Arturo are like doing research into this thing. Maybe this is where the past, present, time vortex thing exists. Who knows, right? Um, that's not me saying leak stuff. That is me theorizing based on what we've seen already. Yeah. Because I have no In idea. Sun and moon, or at least ultra sun and moon, you could like jump through a portal and end up in like the the like the alternate version of your game which is kind of neat like maybe yep. maybe you time travel to to scarlet version if you bought violet or something yeah who knows there, there could be all kinds of crazy stuff with this i'm uh i'm pretty hyped for it I, yeah the other main we'll thing do, we'll have to do another episode on uh on spe speculating <laughs> we could when we maybe next week or two we can do some speculating or, or maybe after a fourth trailer do we get a fourth trailer who knows i don't know um the other the other cool thing that i noticed when looking at this map is the top uh right corner is like has land mass that is covered by clouds so my theory is like that's dlc land right in the same yeah. way you had the the southern part of of and there's almost certainly going to be swish. DLC, so the the way that i mean the the swish if DLC they don't just do an so island good. yeah yeah uh, and and yes yeah, like there's you can just do whatever the ocean is there so you go off make islands but that's they're hiding that for a reason that was artistically done that way for a reason so eh. um there's so much on this map i'm so excited um okay i'm gonna i'm closing that so that i don't continue to stare at the map for uh why am i not eh. stop streaming there we go um okay anything else i do not think so yeah i think we did uh we, we stretched this one out pretty good i'm uh i'm yeah it's so easy to stretch it out i'm so excited about all this stuff i've been hyped yeah no i mean it was, it was it was i wasn't trying it's just it yeah. just kind of happened yeah yeah for sure um okay i guess oh hi so like we said sheldon is is uh parenting right now so he's he's not available I asked him to send anything, and I don't think he saw it. So he's he's probably out like a light with his with his daughter. Um. So yeah, I guess that's it. Let's yeah. let's wrap this you up, wanna, right? Yeah. Uh, do your plugs. Oh man, where's my script? Uh, so you don't make fun of me. Where's my script? There we go. I've I've beaten it into him. It's great. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> anyway, um, so. We don't have a topic for next week. Um, so we will we will think about that, let y'all know. Um, we are like a week, two weeks, two weeks away from Worlds, so we'll definitely... Yeah, I think Worlds is going to be quite Worlds a topic. Huge. We could probably do, we could probably even do two episodes depending on how much they stream. Like there is some yep. great stuff in Worlds. We we were threatening before to do like a, a some sort of watch party. Um, so look out for news for that. Uh, join the Discord where we'd probably do it. Uh, that's a lie. We'd probably do it on, on YouTube. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, so make sure you watch watch all our socials. Um, but first, I'd like to thank Game Chops and Rob KTA for the use of our theme song, Golden uh, Goldenrod Game Corner, off the Ultimate album. Super cool. Um, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on YouTube, Rowan Hall, uh, Twitter, Rowan W. Hall. Um, yeah, I missed out in a video this past week because I was also off on World Cup. Um, I won't be able to record my match this week, unfortunately, because I'm traveling. So instead, I'm probably going to do something just on some uh, Series 13 theory crafting. So keep an eye out for it. Yeah. And then uh, I've been Harrison. You can find me on Twitter at uh, Rowixen. You can find me at Twitch on Rowix uh, on. Twitch as Rorixen, uh, YouTube, you can find me in Rorixen, uh, everywhere, that's my name. Uh, and we have been The Game Corner, you can find us at Twitter on Twitter at Game Corner VGC. Our Discord is down below, make sure you join and sign up for that, that uh, Series 13 tournament we'll have in a couple weeks. Uh, come say hi offline, all that fun stuff. Leave a comment of your favorite new announcement from the trailer today uh, in, in the comments below as well. 
And um, until next time, press start and game on. Bye. Good longer. It's not that much longer. I, I said the same thing last no, time. We're just, we're we're just, uh, did you say press start? I, yeah, is this that, is not the first that, time I said okay, press start. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, bye.